Markets are about to open in less than 30 seconds as spikes in the coronavirus cases across the country spark new fears and uncertainty in global markets. This as another 1.48 million people filed for unemployment benefits last week, which means nearly 50 million people have lost their jobs over the last 14 weeks. We've also learned this morning that the U.S. economy shrank by 5 percent in the first quarter of 2020, matching last month's predictions, the sharpest decline in GDP since the 2008 crisis. Joining me now to discuss Seth Harris, former acting U.S. Labor Secretary under President Obama, and my dear friend Andrew Ross Sorkin, New York Times columnist, founder of The Deal Book and and co-anchor of CNBC's Squawk Box. Andrew, the business community has stressed testing from the beginning. Now the Trump administration is saying it will end federal funding for multiple testing sites. And we have seen the president for over a week talk down the importance of testing, saying it's slowing and basically being disingenuous about the numbers. Is this why the markets are suddenly reacting to the negative? I think there's a couple of factors here, but the biggest one really is just the spike and spread we're seeing uh, throughout the country. The idea, for example, that in New York now, um, and this goes to the whole issue of travel, the idea that there's going to be a 14-day quarantine for people coming to New York and the idea that there's going to be quarantines throughout, throughout the country. You're also seeing what's happening in California. Places like Disneyland are not going to be allowed to open in large part because uh, the governor there, Gavin Newsom, uh, putting more restrictions in place. And uh, despite the fact that Disney World is still anticipated to open in Florida, new questions about whether consumers will even go, given the spread. So I think all of these things are, are coming together uh, at this time and, and, and putting pressure on the markets and really making, I think, investors rethink how quickly the economy can rebound. I think that's probably the biggest component of it right now, uh, whether that persists that That skepticism, or at least those questions, which have not been asked, frankly, because there was this sort of optimism about reopening, uh, whether that persists, I think, is still the question. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.